Meet Sujatha from India. She's learning about life in Australia and she wants to find out more. Back home in India, studying in school, I just heard about all these weird animals that only Australia has, like kangaroos, wombats and koalas. I thought Australia was all about beaches, bushwalks and pretty cities. Meet the volunteers of Minton Farm. They all love animals and they're committed to helping the ones that have been injured or lost. Sujatha's going to spend a few days at the farm. It's winter and it's cold and muddy. Hope she's brought her thermals. Hello. Is anyone around? Hello. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Sujatha, I presume. Yeah. How do you do? Welcome I'm to good, how are you? Farm. Thank on you. Bev. Hi. Come on in. Yeah. This is such an exciting place. Yeah, I hope yeah. you've got lots of layers on because it's pretty Oh, chilly. yeah, I did. Hi, ladies. Now we have a helper Hello. today called Sujatha. Hello. Hello. Now, Sujatha, I'll introduce you. If you don't remember, then I'll tell you again, won't you? <laughs> Sujatha gets to know the owner of Minton Farm, Bev Langley, and the volunteers. Bev dedicates her life to animal yeah. rescue. <laughs> so what we're doing here is just preparing the fruit, fruit and veggies for the possums oh, and rabbits okay. and guinea pigs. Uh -huh. So um, you can take any of the fruit that's around and just cut it up and put a little bit on each plate. Oh. <laughs> so they're making them lunch, are we? Yeah, nice <laughs> salads. Don't cut your fingers. Okay. <laughs> so we try to be careful. <laughs> we um, are set up with all different areas, so we rescue rehabilitate and release so that's the aim mm -hmm. but a lot of the stuff is not releasable because it's been hand raised or it's injured yeah so that's when we get these captive ones here mm -hmm. um that we have to care for for 15 years or however long the possums live oh that's <laughs> lovely yeah it yeah. is good it's nice to give things an, another go a second chance So if you come over here, you'll actually see the possums come out to get their food. Can I go to the trail? Yeah. Oh, camels! <laughs> oh, that's Jacob. <laughs> oh my god! Hey! <laughs> and he loves a good cuddle. <laughs> He's so friendly! Oh my god! Oh. Hey, she does! How are you? <laughs> I'm a visitor here. I'm from India. <laughs> oh, he is. Oh, he's such a sweet heart. <laughs> he loves cuddles. <laughs> oh, cuddly, cuddly, are you? <laughs> you're such a sweetie. So this yeah. is the hospital. This is the hospital where it all happens. This ah. is the the crux of the whole rescue centre, basically. Um, okay. Everything that comes in, comes in here first. Mm -hmm. So we've got a little rainbow lorikeet in here that's come in and it's got a um, injured wing. Oh. So if you like, okay. we can um, get him out and uh, mm -hmm. strap his wing mm -hmm. and yeah, keep it immobilised to yeah. heal it. Okay. And uh, then hopefully we'll be able to take those bandages off in a few days and uh, get yeah. him flying and take him home. Yeah, sure. him go. Sure. Okay. And, um... I actually think Sujasa's reacted much better than I expected. Some people that aren't used to being with animals are terrified of them and don't want to get in, get down and get dirty. Whereas Sujasa's been really keen to sort of, really keen to get hands on, which is wonderful. That's when you actually learn so much about it. Today I went to Minton Farm, it's a wildlife rescue centre uh, and it was a very exciting day though, though it was like very cold and wet and constantly raining but I got to meet some really wonderful people there. They are actually taking out time from their day-to-day -day life to 
save these animals. They actually serve them and take care of them in every way possible. And they're all doing volunteer work and it was just wonderful. And I also got to meet some animals and I got to hug a kangaroo and kiss it and feed it and it was just wonderful, a lot of fun. Minton Farm is a non-profit rescue centre for orphaned and injured animals and birds and it's run entirely by volunteers and with donations from the public. I just can't live without animals. I can't imagine ever not having someone with you to talk to and, and share things with. Yeah. I think it's in your blood. It's not something you sort of consciously set about to do. It's just part of your makeup. I know it's part of my makeup. I got very ill with brainstem encephalitis and meningitis and um, I was sick for about three years and um, during the recovery period from that I joined the Native Animal Network and they teach you how to raise possums. Good boy. Minton Farm is important because there are a number of situations where animals are displaced from their natural habitat. Uh, we have uh, native animals that are injured by uh, other animals in the, in the district. That's the mainstay of the place is to rehabilitate native animals and hopefully if we can set them free when they're, when they're all better. Just uh, feeling a satisfaction when you leave and uh, it gives you a big buzz. It's another busy morning at Minton Farm. Um, we've got a database on the computer to get it all sorted as well. Morning, Bev. Hi. you? Good, thanks. Good. Come in. I've got a baby raven for you. Okay. Was he on the ground? Yes, we found, I found him down at Glen Alter mm -hmm. on the road. Mm -hmm. And he seems to have a little bit of a problem with his feet. Well, let's have a look at your little fella. Oh, it's a typical crap. Shall I hold it? Um, it's okay, I can probably... Oh, just in case he tries to bite you. I'll get his wings out and see. They're all right. Yeah. He's obviously a baby, he's only got the quills on yeah. his tail. He hasn't even mm -hmm. got the feathers out yet. Yes, his little feet are definitely um, paralysed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Oh, Either he's been awful. injured when he fell, uh -huh. or the parents have thrown him out because oh, he's actually got idea. calluses on there. So he's been like that a long time. Mm. Mm. And I would suggest the parents have probably thrown him out because of it. Mm. But what we can do is put a little prosthetic on there, a little yeah. shoe to hold it out, to stop the paralysis. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll get the vet to check him over and she might give him some anti-inflammatories or something. We'll see. Okay, okay. thanks, Bev. Well, Thanks so much for bringing him up. See you and, later, uh, Angus. I'll give you a ring and let you know how he's going. <laughs> OK, cheerio. See you again. Thank See you, you later. Much. Good on you. Bye-bye. Bye. The vet, Rachel, arrives to check out the injured raven. Do you want me to tape? Yes, can please. Hold? I'll hold and you can tape. That'd be lovely. So we'll try and show what's going on here. Yeah. So, you happy with that one, Bev? Do you think I that? reckon that looks pretty good. Yeah. We'll stand him up in a while. Yeah, so see. let's just try with this one as well. Mm -hmm. He's actually tolerating this really well. He doesn't mm -hmm. seem to be too stressed. You're yeah. holding him really nicely. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's warm, he's secure. He doesn't feel as though yeah. he's being threatened in any way. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. All right. Yeah. Nearly done. So let's just gently see if we can encourage him to stand. And it's going to feel strange, little bloke, yeah, isn't it? Because he's been turning his foot all the time. Yeah. It's going to feel very strange. Mm. This surface is, is probably just a little slippery. bit slippery for oh, those little shoes. Yeah. So we'll put him back in the cage in a minute and see if he can start to feel his feet, yeah, literally. Yeah. After the vet leaves, a critically injured animal arrives. So, what have you got? Um, I've got a koala. He's been hit by a car oh. um, quite severely. Yep. He's um, quite bloody and he's got a big graze Gosh. on the top of his head. Yeah. Okay. It's a bit oh. difficult to catch, but... Oh, all right, mate. I've got you. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh. take your blanket off. We need a little buddy. Oh, shit. Okay. No, he's going to have... Yeah, it's all right. Just... Oh, you got it. 
He is a little kid, isn't he? Yes. Not an adult. What we'll do is get him in there and stabilise him. Okay, buddy. Good boy. You're all right now. I guess Rachel will have to come in again. Good boy. So what we'll do is get the heat turned on. Mm -hmm. And get him out of shock before we muck around with anything. Mm -hmm. So the way to save him is warm, dark and quiet. Okay. So the more you muck around with him, the more likelihood you're going to kill him. Mm -hmm. So we just let him warm up there for a minute. But one thing really sad today was that one of the koalas we were trying to save actually died and we couldn't do much about it. And we were like, everybody was really upset at the farm today. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow because I'm going to one of the volunteers' house. She actually has some animals at her place and it'll be really exciting to see them there. This, what have we got here? This is a little pinky kangaroo, we call it. Oh. So he's only about four months oh, old. Oh, he's so tiny. <laughs> oh. So he would, of course, be in his mum's pouch. Yeah. So we'll just give him a bottle and then I can get him out a little bit for you to have a bit of a look at him. Sure. So his mum was killed just down the road from here oh. um, three months ago. Mm. So he was half the size, he was only 500 grams. Okay. So he's just over a kilo now, so oh, I'm really lovely. pleased with him. He's doing really, really well. Yeah. It's a fair commitment. Yeah, but, he does. <laughs> he would have died for sure, so, yeah. you know, it's lovely. That's a cat, he won't hurt you. <laughs> the cat's trying to get the milk. <laughs> yeah. It's lovely to give them another chance. and uh, yeah. They live for about 25 years. Uh. But once you hand raise them from little like this, you can't let them go. Oh, because they've got no idea yeah, yeah. how to survive. Yeah. And they haven't got a family to look after them. Mm -hmm. So um, once you take them on, you've got them for 25 years. Oh my God. Like Jacob out there that gave you a hug yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> He was as big as this when I got him. Oh, and my that, God. That's what, 13, 14 years ago. Ah, oh, lovely. So that's yeah. why he's so friendly. He's got yeah, no he's idea he's friendly. a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks he's a human. So far, we've got three baby emus hatched, and the father uh, is still sitting on the eggs. Uh -huh. he so he'll just sit on the egg? Yes, he doesn't eat, he doesn't drink. Ah, doesn't go to the toilet. Lovely. For a couple of months. Mm hmm Whilst the babies are hatched. Okay. In order to make the babies friendly, mm -hmm. we've got to take them away from the dad so that we can befriend them and then they can become, you can handle them as adults. Ah. Here we go. Emo jigs. Wow. Emo jigs. Oh. Big yeah, ones. such a nice design over there. Yeah. Come on, babes. Shh, in the corner. Come on. Can oh. I try catching one? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, that's little Alex. That's ah. the little one. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, Alex, relax. Oh, that's it. Two hands around. Two hands yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Hey, Alex, it's me. Oh. You know me, don't you? Well, this is Charlie, I think. Can I hold that door? You can. You might. You might take off if you just. There we go, there's yeah. two. Oh, and they're whistling. <laughs> Woo! Stop whistling. Oh, we're going to your home. There's fresh hair here. Should I just leave them down? Yes, yeah, just pop them on the floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, careful. <laughs> oh, it's warm and nice here. Ah, oh, they're running around. <laughs> Sujatha goes to visit Emma, one of the volunteers. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. So I'm finally at your house. Yeah, I know. So how do you manage? Oh, my <laughs> God. That's lovely. Hello, sweet dog. Oh. This is my little kangaroo, Millie. Oh, my God. She's two. How do you manage to keep her at home? Oh, she's Emma's a good... Really difficult? No. Oh. No, she's a good girl. Oh, you're a sweet aren't you? Jumps around the house. Yeah. Jumps around outside. <laughs> Does she come out? Yes. Let her out for a hop around. 
Yeah. She was dying to get out. Yeah. Oh, careful. <laughs> <laughs> she might eat some of your banana. Yeah, do you want some? So how has being a volunteer changed your life? It's very different now. Yeah. yeah. Normally people only have a dog or a cat, but okay. we've got, yeah, we're yeah. very different. Yeah. It's not your average house. I thought Sujatha would be the sort of person who didn't want to get her feet dirty or her hands, and she's not. Uh, she gets in there and she helps out. Having the sort of personality that she has helps because if she was shy, it might not work. Today I went to the house of one of the volunteers, Emma, and it was just so much fun. She lives in one of the suburbs here, and she's got all these wild animals there. It's so incredible that she hasn't just given one day of her life to it, but actually has some animals back at her place. And there was a kangaroo, and it, it has its own pouch there, and it actually jumped out of it, and I fed it a banana and petted it and played around with it for a while. It was just a lot of fun. And I'm also looking forward to tomorrow because we are going to shopping complexes and bringing out some food for the animals and collecting it all to take it back home to Minton Farm. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. What is all this bread for? These are for all the animals on the farm, for the geese, the peacocks, the chickens, eh? the pigs. Okay. And the milk is um, poured over the top. It's um, a nutritional milk mm -hmm. and uh, it's all donated, of course. That's cool. So you go around collecting all the donations from people and get them back here? Yes, that's right. Yes, we do that. The volunteers yeah. do that as well. Help them yeah, out. Yeah. There's actually two different kinds of kangaroos here. This one here that looks grey yes. is actually a red kangaroo. Right, and yeah. this little blo bloke over here is a grey kangaroo. You okay. can see the differences in their faces. This fellow uh -huh. here has white on his face. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that is, uh, that's, mate, that's a red kangaroo. And they oh. live in Central Australia. Oh. And this little fellow over here has a different sort of a head. He doesn't have any white on yeah, his face. Yeah. And he lives, they live on the coast of Australia. So okay. you don't find these guys in Central Australia. You only find mm. these guys in Central okay. Australia. Mm. Yeah. These guys have all been hand reared by Bev. Some of them, mm. I know this little guy here was uh, what they call a little pinky, which means that when he came in, he didn't have any fur. Oh, he was okay. pink. Uh -huh. And uh, they're very, very hard to rear from that stage when yeah, so that's young. True. Yes. And, and they're uh, so delicate. Yes, they are. Mm. <laughs> they're so cute. What is it? What does it like to be a volunteer working here? Yeah, it's good. I love, I love being around all the animals. It's great fun. Yeah. Here we go. That's for the. Yeah, you've got Sajar, so you've got for the geese here. Yeah. And they're all waiting. Uh huh. Can we take that down to the. Here we go, guys. Yeah, yippee. Perhaps we'll take this one to the. Um, so does it change a lot of things for you, like have a regular commitment for well, it and certainly, stuff? It certainly tempts me to look at the you know, baby animals. I've learnt a lot with the um, looking after uh -huh. baby possums and, and the kangaroos. A lot uh -huh. more understanding, a lot more appreciation yeah. for the people that rear them, because it's not easy. Some of these guys are quite old, aren't they, Bev? Some of these geese? Yes, old Stan, he's over 30. Oh, my God. Wow. Uh, dear old man. <laughs> Good boy, it's a bird. Come on, Sujasa, so put the bag down. Yeah. Just on the ground. Mm -hmm. And I reckon she'll let you have a hug. Don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sujatha, she's so lovely. lovely. Oh. <laughs> so just put your arm in the neck. Oh, oh she's got lovely feathers. Lovely. Haven't been hugged till you've had an emu hug. Sujatha is making lots of friends. Yeah, it's lovely. Oh, it's Volunteers good. stop for a well-deserved break and a chat. That was in the lounge. <laughs> They're a happy bunch, and a warm cuppa and a piece of cake go down a treat. But there's plenty of work still to be done. What have they got in store for Sujatha?
Now, that'll go into gear, but it won't move. This operates the tilt mechanism on there, so it will lift, okay. it will drop down. Just pull it back slightly, and you'll see it go up. That's right. lovely, yeah. Okay, now, Tim, don't oh. cross your arms. Oh, Pick. yeah, I should yep. not cross my arms. Okay. Where's the brake? <laughs> okay, stop there, and you'll drag the shell group back with you. Lovely. <laughs> Doing very well. Yeah. Keep the wheel straight. I think Sue Jartha would fit in beautifully with the group that's here because socially she has the skills to communicate and to learn and to listen as well, which is important. And the fact that she's not afraid of getting dirty, she gets right in there with everybody and uh, gets right into the nitty gritty of everything and wants to know what we're doing, why we're doing it and how to do it. Today it was really exciting. I got to hug a emu and she actually pecked me on the cheek. It was just a lot of fun. And uh, I'm also looking forward to tomorrow, though it's my last day. I'm a little upset, but I'm going to have a lot of fun. And we're actually going to try to release the rainbow Laura Keep that we actually treated. And she is flying and back to normal. Let's hope she's free and let to go. Doesn't look too bad. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. I think the wing's sitting nice and flat, mm -hmm. and uh, we should be able to let him go. He should uh, be able to fly with it like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll perhaps let him go today. Oh, that'll be cool. Okay. This looks like a good spot. Yeah, a lot of trees around. Oh, I do. Good. Lots of food. Should I just put it down here? Oh. Yeah. This is the moment Sujatha has been waiting for, finally releasing the rainbow lorikeets into the wild. Right, be free. Do you want to go first? <laughs> yeah, I will try that. Let it, let it go? Yeah. Oh my god. Good luck. This is exciting. Good luck. All the best, sweetheart. Have a good luck. Oh. Didn't quite fly. Well, things don't always go as planned, and the little lorikeets didn't get to fly today. They'll need to get a bit stronger before they try again. I'm really feeling bad that I'm leaving, and I wouldn't be coming back here too often again. I'm going to miss this place a lot. I wish I could spend some more time here. Now it's time for Sujatha to say goodbye to Minton Farm. It was so much fun being here oh. and I learned so much oh, about all the wildlife and rescuing them and stuff. Yeah. It was so good. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Well, we've enjoyed having you, haven't we, girls? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope so. It's nice to hear about other countries and the yeah, things that happen there yeah. and different animals. So. Yeah. You're and always welcome to come back at any time. Oh, sure. And if I find some, I know I'll bring it to you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we'll help anybody at any time. I'm more yeah. than happy to do that. Thanks a lot for that. I had so much fun here. Oh, <laughs> good. I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I really enjoyed it. Oh, bye-bye, sweetheart. I'll miss you so much. You've got lovely dogs. Bye, right, then. Bye -bye. See you guys. Bye. bye. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Yeah. And all the best with your horse and everything. Hope it all goes well. Yeah, let's hope I see you again. I'm sure you will. <laughs> see you then. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. And Sujatha heads off for her next Australian adventure. He's running away. <laughs> oh, he's <laughs> pulling my beanie off. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the pose. <laughs>